Mm -mm. Quick disclaimer. I do not condone smoking. So if you're too young to smoke, don't smoke. Don't be stupid. Stay in class and be something in life. But if you want to smoke so bad, just wait till you are of age and you can smoke until your lungs fall out your asshole. I don't care. What up? It's your boy Fuego and I'm back up in this thing for another video. Oh shit, Deshaun, no background? Nah, not today. I don't need a background. And you know why? Cause it's story time with Fuego. Y'all been asking me since day one to do story times. And I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna just start doing story times on this channel now. So every once in a while, I'm gonna hit y'all with a story time. Is that cool? Okay, cool. But yeah, the first time I got high. Before I start, for y'all who don't know me, I'm not a smoker at all. I don't smoke cigarettes, weed, I don't smoke, period. And why, you may ask? I don't fucking know. I just don't smoke. The shit is not for me. I mean, the majority of my friends smoke, so it's not like I have an issue with it. I just don't like to fucking smoke. That's it. Anyways, the first time I got high, I remember this shit like it was yesterday. So let's go back three years ago. March of 2013, senior year in high school, I was a star football player, I was on the dance team, and I always had everyone laughing. So yeah, I was a pretty popular person in high school. But anyways, one night it was a huge party going down. And I mean huge. Music bumping, people everywhere, just having the time of their lives. Yeah, it was lit. So yeah, I put up to the party with a couple of family members and some friends, and I got into the party for free. Cause you know, I got it like that. Boy, if you don't get- But yeah, we entered the house and you can't even see the floor cause there's so many people there. But when we got there, we kind of split up and we all did our own things, you know? Cause we came with like a group of people. So, you know, everybody just went and did their own little thing. So I was just having fun, turning up, dancing and shit. You know, what a regular person does at a party. And about two hours into the party, I met up with some friends of mine and we went to the back of the party, you know? Cause that's where all those smokers are at. So we get to the back of the party and I swear to you, it was like a little smoking tea party or whatever. You had people rolling blunts over here, hitting bongs over there, smoking hookah over there. It was a lot going on. And let me just say this, what I usually do at a party, I have friends that I go with and they all smoke except for me. So when they usually go to the smoking session, I kind of follow them, but I never smoke. I just sit there Bruh. looking stupid on my phone. And that's what I usually do when I'm with my friends and they smoking at a party. But tonight was the night. I sat there and thought to myself, you know what? I don't even smoke like that. I'm trying to turn up and have a good time. So why not? Smoking one time won't hurt me. And that's when I decide I wanted to get in on blunt rotations. So I got into a rotation with one of my friends and I'm just on my phone waiting for my turn to hit the blunt. And when it finally got to me, I grabbed the blunt and I just stared at it. And I thought to myself, are you sure about this? And I said, fuck it. I took two hits and I passed it. And eventually the blunt came back around to me again. And I took two more hits and I passed it again. And the blunt was gone before it came around again to me for the third time. You know, cause there was a lot of people in the rotation. And I sat there and thought to myself, I don't feel nothing. Man, smoking ain't all that bad. This is nothing. So that's when I decided I'm gonna go on a smoking spree. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. I started to join everyone's rotation. I was in that rotation. I was in that rotation. I was in that rotation. If it was a rotation at that party, I was in that rotation. So after everyone was done smoking, I at least hit about four blunts and one hit from a bong. And I was like, okay, I think I'm done. I'm feeling kind of woozy. Let me, let me, let me like slow down real quick. But I wasn't at that peak high yet. Cause what I didn't know at the time is when you smoke weed or whatever, it takes a couple of minutes for it to like fully hit you and you get the full effect. 20 minutes later. I find myself 50 feet away from the party in the backyard staring at a tree. Bruh. And I was like, whoa, how did I get here? And I had to snap myself out of it. And that's when I started to make my way back to the house where the party was at. And I was walking back to the house, but it felt like I wasn't walking anywhere. Like I was just walking, but not moving. So that's when I started to trip the fuck out. 
I was like, yo, let me go sit down somewhere. So I eventually made it back to the house. And when I entered the house, the music and everyone was 10 times as louder and 10 times slower. So everything was in And I felt like I was in a whole different universe. And that's when I really started to freak out. So I just stood against the wall by the front door, not moving. And my heart was legit pounding. And I was damn near about to start crying because I felt like I was finna die. Like tonight was my night to die. And about three of my friends come from out of nowhere and say to me, oh shit, there you are. We was looking for you. So I had to pretend I wasn't high and I had to focus on not dying at the same time. And I was just like, I was just in the bathroom, you know, my stomach was hurting. But what I really wanted to say was, please help me. Call the ambulance, call the ambulance. But you know, I didn't want to look like a little bitch. So, you know, I played it off, I played it off. Anyways, I took a seat in the chair next to the dance floor so I can keep focus and not die. And the crazy part was, it wasn't getting no better. It was getting worse. So I eventually passed out because I couldn't take the shit no more. And at this moment, I kind of forgot what happened because, you know, I was passed out and shit. All I remember, I was getting carried out the party over my homeboy's shoulder. Like this nigga picked my ass up, put me over his shoulder and carried me out the party. Two hours later. The next thing I know, I wake up in the back of the car that we came in. So yeah, my friends put my high ass in the car and they went back inside to go party. I mean, at least they was looking out for a nigga. But yeah, the party eventually ended and I was still in the car and then they came out and we all went home. And yes, I was still high and unaware of what was going on. So yeah, we eventually made it home. We all lived together. So, you know, they kind of helped me inside and shit. And, you know, just took me to my room and, you know, just throw me in my bed. And I remember waking up the next morning with the outfit that I had on at the party last night. And that's my first time getting high. So yeah, you guys, that is the end of the video. That was a crazy experience back in 2013. You know, I would probably never revisit, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm cool off smoking, I'm, I'm cool. I don't need it in my life, you know, I got alcohol, which is not better, but you know, it, it's a choice. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, please give me a like and comment down below if you like the story or not, and if y'all wanna see more story times. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel if you fucks with my content, and if you like the content that I bring to you, you know. Look at the flick of there is. Subscribe to my channel and I will greatly appreciate it and if you don't have me on any of my social media the links are in the description so check out the description box below and if you're on facebook and you don't have a description box go to my youtube channel subscribe then check out the description box but yeah i hope you guys have a great day and i will see y'all next week with a whole new video and i'm gone